好啲啊，咁。It'll just be a couple seconds and it'll catch up. You'll be used to that. You can talk now. You can talk because you're on. So you can talk. We're just t- testing the audio. Now then, welcome to the very first ever Butter Chat Live. Now, I've got loads to tell you about. <clears throat> I've only been away two and a half yet because I've got loads to tell you about. But with me tonight is obviously the Teesside Rambler, it's fine. Mr. Phil Bullock himself, and my old mate, now then, top man. Welcome to the very first ever I can hear myself. That's fine. That's, so we know it's working, mate. We know it's working. We're working. Hey, my mate, your mate, big butter fan, big gal from butter. Gal, good evening, mate. How are you doing? All right, nice thanks. to be back. Hey, thanks for joining us. It's brilliant. It, we're, so just to let you all know where we are, I've got loads of thank yous to do. I, I'm not going to take the whole night because we are going to talk butter. We're going to talk some bits and bobs, but I've got to do some big thank yous. This is our very first show, as you know. Uh, we've been posting stuff for a couple of weeks now to say we were getting to this uh, and we've got a team together. Um, and... I, me personally just want to thank the team here, obviously Super Duper producer uh, Courtney, who you can't see, she's behind that camera there, uh, pressing all the buttons, tinkling the ivories, making us all look good and, and sound good, and obviously St- Mr. Statter himself, the regular rock, Mr. Paul Burke is behind the camera as well, um, looking after us, and I'd like to thank this guy for coming in uh, to, to, at short notice to come and uh, have a chat to Borough with us. The club, now we are in the bowels of the Essendon Normby here, gal, we're in the broom cupboard, of the S and Social Club, who've given us a lovely prize to give away as well, so we'll be keeping an eye out for that because that'll be on the on the page this week. So we've got a couple of tickets to a gig. What's coming up here? Um, and we've got a couple of sponsors that we can't reveal just yet, Phil. Can we? Not yet. So Soon. we we're in, in negotiations next week, but you'll know when they're here because it'll have the name all over here. All right, because that's part of the deal. Right, Gal, I'm going to start with you. We've got to start talking butter. Now there's not a lot going on. We've had a couple of weeks off, mate, haven't we? The last time I watched the Borough, little tear in my eye, was the Coventry game. Second leg of the old uh, playoffs at the Riverside. A packed out Riverside, by the way. Did it end in all in a bit of a damp squib, do you think? I personally think so. <coughs> I was devastated, as, as all Borough fans were. Uh, but we'd had a great run, but if the run had just been a little bit later, we might have maintained it all the way through. I think the run come about three or four games too early. <laughs> When we beat Sheffield United, I thought, here we go. And then a few little things. And it shows you the importance of people that you think, oh, well, he's getting on a bit, we need to look at him. And they were all the better players with the older experienced ones. So it just shows you, you lose one of them, backbone's gone. I I agree with that as well, because um, the Sheffield United game, something clicked. You know, um, we conceded early on. We we then went and... and It was absolutely... Their fans were not happy with our performance. No, 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 you're right. Um, Something clicked there, and I thought, if, if we can maintain this, not through the end of the season, because it's a de- very difficult form to maintain across so many games, but if we could have done it for just a couple of games, I mean, we, we, we went there, we beat them, and then there was the dodgy game, was it Bristol City? Was that the dodgy? Yeah, yeah. That was a dodgy, dodgy game. Um, <clears throat> we were totally different in that game to how we were at... And it was clear because there was a bit of tinkering with the squad. There was injuries, there was suspensions. Whatever clicked then, very quickly unclicked. Yeah. Well, and, it did, and I think that's what it didn't help us. It didn't help us either, did it? Because we played Coventry away, which we went to. We were there. Yeah. We we played Coventry away, uh, and I'm not talking about the plus. I'm talking about you know the the game in this, and, and we sort of we played played Luton before that, where we sort of fielded a team where we thought. We haven't put our best team out there yet, so if, if we, we don't want to give too much away. <clears throat> so I think it did start, sort of, the wheels started coming off a little bit. But, you know, how are, how are you know, I'm going to finish it because we're going to go on to chat about all things, you know, what's going to up and coming. But sort of the, the borough for me, would, would we have took that at the start of the season? Bear in mind, Carrick wasn't even thought about. Would we have sat there and said, you know what, we're going, we're going to be in the playoffs? You know, we, we, we weren't thinking about that when Carrick came in. What were we, fourth from bottom, fifth from bottom, Paul? Something like that. that that's we were down there, weren't we? First after 15 games. There we go. That, so, but but that's, that's, that's it, though. Um, we, with, with the start of the season, um, none of us expected us bringing Giles in, you know, bringing Lenehan in, Tommy Smith. And we expected us to start much better than what we did. And I don't think we started... 
bad disastrously because we drew some important games. I think we, we drew against West Brom at home. We probably should have won it. I think we drew against Sheffield United at home. We probably should have won it. We got battered in the first 20 minutes away to QPR. I think Lenahan yeah. got sent off it. We came back to 3-2. I think Millwall was a tough game. Um, but at the start of that season, or, or certainly towards November, if you'd have said to me, then we'll finish in the playoffs, we're going to at least yeah. get the first leg of the playoffs, every Borough fan had a snap your hands off. Yeah, Ultimately, did. we overachieved that season from where massively from where we were. I mean, it turned into a roller coaster ride, really, Gal, didn't it? If you look, <coughs> stat old man will tell you, but if you look at other teams and what they've done, look at Leeds as an example. Did exactly the same as what we did with Bielsa's first season. Mm. Come out of nowhere, got to the playoffs and fell over on the playoffs. Next season, romped it. Yeah. And I'm hoping that's what's going to happen mm. with us. Well, don't forget, you're going to have your say as well uh, here on Borough Chat Live. So get your messages in. We'll read them out. You know, have your opinions as well. We've had, we, we sort of coincided today with um, the Borough back in a pre-season training today. And we know that the guys on international duty won't be here and we've, and we've got a, a fair few of them but uh, the sort of fringe players the youth players uh, you know the Sol Brins the Henry Popples these guys they're all back in today they're all I, I presume they'll be doing you know fitness checks and, and things like that so that's why Butter Chat we, we went live today we thought we'd have more for you really transfer wise a uh, couple of young kids still the door though Gal haven't we and I'm not going to say the names um, Phil I'll let you say it what are they the lad from Man City um, caught you out there the often now. Terrell, <laughs> is it Aggieman? Yeah. Aggieman, yeah. And yeah. then Leighton Orient, this Daniel and Krumar. Now, am I, am I right in saying the guy from Leighton Orient played a few first team games, hasn't he? But they bought him for the academy team, though, haven't they? Didn't they say he's not in the first team reckoning? He's been bought. To yeah, he's, he's, bought, he's gone straight into the academy setup. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, a 19 year old, it's a good age to, to, to bring someone in. Um, you would expect. Maybe a couple of appearances this season if he's there or thereabouts. And the guy from Man City. Um, well, you said it all there. There were two words, Man City. Yeah. You, you've got to be at some level to be there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the players who obviously won me back for pre-season training, and I'm just letting you know, Carl, I'm wearing these for fashion. I thought that was no. my lenses. In the... Yeah. <laughs> Nothing you do with my eyes being bad. Um, so our international round up there, obviously Lenehan, he, he's been away, hasn't he, playing at national duties. Obviously we've got England playing tonight as well. As well. McNair's been away. Uh, McGree uh, has been playing as well. Dyke Steel. Dyke Steel. And obviously, Tuber Akpom tipped the day, Gal, for an international call. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, he's had a brilliant season. Let's just hope it's not a one off. Yeah. So, something Carrick said and done with him has been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, he didn't have a squad number when he came back. Mm. He said, I'll not give me a number, we're not sure. Next thing you know, top goal scorer. Well, I mean, so, Warnock did say, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the, there's a famous interview with Warnock when he says, that uh, it's the last time we'll sign players. Bear in mind, it was COVID, but it's the last time we'll sign players by looking at players on videos. <laughs> and then obviously he comes in as a season like that. But I, I, I totally agree with you, Gal, because we've read that all the press, just like all you have and all you guys have out there. Is, you know, would you take 15 million for that pom? You know, I, I love the Borough and I want him to score a hatful, but would I take 15 million for him? I think I might because no, he's had one good no. season. If he gets reinvested, no. he's had one good season. And I'd love him to come and score another thirty next year, Phil. I would. I'd love it, but I've seen it too much in the championship. We have one one to hit wonders. I hope. I hope he proves me wrong. I hope I'm sat here the back end of this season saying I'll eat them words. You know, I'm gonna wear that two black pom shirt all week. Obviously, he's is a bit too big for me, but <laughs> but. Um, I hope, it is. I hope I am wrong, but I've seen it too much in the championship. We've got other players on the periphery that can step up, and when they get a full pre season, you'll see the difference in them, I think. You know, Force, I think Force has got a lot more to offer. Yeah, I'm really impressed with Force. Yeah, really, I, think, really I think he'll come to Force with a good pre season. Actually, I think it was Force's birthday, is it today, Paul, or yesterday? So yeah. we'll wish him happy birthday uh, and hope you've had a great day. But the pre-season friendlies have been announced as well. I think it was one of the first posts we put out on our Butter yeah, Chat. It was, yeah, it was yeah. one of the first ones we put out on our Butter Chat. Um, obviously, majority away, as they always are. Um, Artipool, York City. Now, that's a funny one. It's it's We, we can tell that's going to be a sort of... It's a date, isn't it? It's the date. It's the, it's the Friday night and the Saturday afternoon. So, theoretically, he's putting two squads out in yeah. Carrick. Whether he's going to be at both, Woodgate might take one. Carrick might take one. Uh, I think you'll probably see against... Uh, Hartlepool United a lot of the 21s maybe the likes of Solbrin Henry Popple 
people like that who um, he, he could take 50 players couldn't he because it's pre-season there's no limit on the amount yeah, of substitutions yeah, yeah, yeah. play 11 in the first half a totally different 11 in the second half and that's where you may see that you know the lads from Man City and the Orient mm. kid they may get a run out there in them pre-season games obviously I said the York City on the Saturday as well that's a, a 1 o'clock kick-off Rotherham away that, that looks a bit tasty you know T-side travel might take a bus down to that one uh, on the 19th of July and then obviously the French side up here which we always seem to play a team like that don't we they haven't had a very good season, them, really. We, they got relegated, didn't they? Yeah, they, they should come here, really, and we, we should have a go at them. Uh, and then Bradford's just been announced as well, so some decent, decent pre-season is there, anything, matches, is, there. is there anything strange with that Bradford? Normally, the, the, the last pre-season friendly is at home. That'll and then, and then, they've, got a, then so they've got an announce this one afterwards. Hmm. I think what you, if you look at them, they're all local-ish, aren't they? There's yeah, no yeah. big travelling involved. And I think that's the main aim, really, isn't it? Keep them as low. I mean, Rotherham's a fair that you've got to go from here. Mm. He's touched them deliberately. I think um, I, th- I think that's what Carrick wants, really. I think he's, he's still trying to you know, galvanise the dressing room, mate. Uh, I think that's what he, he's he's going to try to do, really. And uh, Right, Phil, get your phone on, because man's froze at about 25 minutes ago, because <laughs> you, can, you can't still get the gas for man. Apparently, Mark Yafano is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying he's modest. <laughs> uh, no, no comments yet. Um, there, there are there's people watching. I'll so, just stitch it up, like. That so, done yeah. <laughs> Emma Massey, Stuart Gawley, Christina Sane, Naomi, uh, Anthony Duffy. Is the man in the man in black watching? He's been tagged in it, Mister uh, Colin Ward. Your mum's watching, Mark. Oh, they sh- If our uh, mum's watching, everyone's watching, Anna. Danny Thornton, Matthew Wilson, Rob Kushner, Enko. Uh, Dave Galloway, any relationship? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Susan Thatcher. There we go. Margaret Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Yeah, thanks for joining us here. But a chat live. Don't forget, send us a message or something like that. Hi, your lads. Or, Just say you know, hi. And I remember, out, I remember right? Gal from the Madison or something like that. So we said about the transfers in. We said about the transfers in. Uh, 20 year old, old, and Paul will get me right here, but uh, Ter- Terrell Aggieman and Daniel. Go on. And Krumah. There you go, and Krumah, yeah. So 19 and 20, so players going out. Players going out over Dan but, Fisher. But uh, stop you there for one second because. Is I, it breaking I, news? No, but I, I know Courtney's, <laughs> I know Courtney's when she's done, done as the notice, put loans returning. Now, Joe Lumley, Hayden Coulson, Josh Coburn, Saul Brin. Martin Piero. He's coming back to the club, so. Yeah. He's going to be involved in this pre season. I wonder whether Carrick you know, will have a look at him. If Carrick can get the best out of him, he will have a look you know, at him. I, I, I don't think, you know, Lumley, Coulson, Coburn, Brilliant. Coburn could have a future at the club this season in terms of uh, being on the bench and maybe making a few more appearances, but I, I can't see Joe Lumley. Um, I read an article up from a Bristol City reporter about Coburn. He said when he's good, he's very, very good, but, but he when just he drifts out, yeah, he's yeah. awful. But, and um, remember with Coburn, well. remember Coburn, uh, Gally bit the nail on the head there. He's still very young, but you've got to play a certain way to use him. Mm. And we didn't play that way with Carrick yeah. in them last few games. So unless we're totally going to change it and have a big man up top uh, and try and look for him, because that's the type he is. He's not going to run in from behind, is he? He's, you know, he's not that type of player. No, no, no. no he scored the goal against Tottenham. He needs to be in the two, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah so I, I know he scored the goal against Tottenham and things like that in the in the FA Cup and things like that. But he, he's playing his trade elsewhere. And to be fair... He probably that's what he wants, really. He wants mm. to play football, doesn't he? He's a young kid, he wants to play football. Joe Lumley's yeah, been released. So Joe Lumley's yeah, been so released. Lumley's released, isn't he? So Joe Lumley's no longer a, a butter player, is he? So he'll he'll turn up somewhere, uh, you know, playing his trade somewhere else. But Daniel Fisher, obviously we've got Derby is, County. Is he, is he still, he's gone, hasn't he? No, Fisher. He's gone. He's gone. Fisher's gone as well, yeah. And he's has gone. he gone? Yeah, 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 he's gone. So so Daniel Fisher was was obviously injured for like two and a half years, wasn't he? Yeah. You know. I think he's only made about nine. He's made about nine appearances in not many. Yeah. Well, he made one last season, and I don't, I don't really understand what that appearance was. was to, to be honest, that was his farewell. Like I think it was to show people line. he was fit, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so if anyone's coming in for him, it was to show people he was fit. And obviously, Grant Holt. Hall. Hall. Sorry, Grant. Holt. Get them Grant glasses on. <laughs> Get them glasses on. Grand Hall, Grand Hall. Grand, Grand Hall, I was going back to Norwich days there, eh? Norwich chat. Anyway. Um, yeah, so Grant Hall. Who's the other big fella we've never seen? The, the big the big defender, left footer? Clark? Matt Clark. Yeah, Matt Clark. What's he doing? Still selling pies? Was he injured? Did he, was he, yeah, he was an injury, oh, wasn't he? Was back. back injury, yeah, yeah, I remember that. See, there's been no talk about him coming back at all. That's because he's going to come back as a centre forward. Oh, come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alan Kenny. Alan Ke- yeah. <laughs> Going back a bit. Yeah. So look, we've got to talk. We've got to talk about the loans, obviously all them loans. And and Carrick done what he did, didn't he? With the loan signings, you know, the likes of Giles, there's been talk. It's, it's always on social media. You know, his, his parent club want this and they'd rather him go to weird and they want him to do this. I'm sick of reading about it. They want to sell him now. They're, saying that. they're looking for money now. Right, yeah. You're looking for money now, aren't they? Alex Mowat. Now, I thought Alex Mowat last four games of the season. Did a good job. Did a really good mm-hmm. job. But he had to step in, didn't he? Because... Well, Housen was Housen out, wasn't he? Was out, so. uh, obviously, you know, we're going to talk about the star players, uh, not Rodrigo Munez, uh, but uh, we are going to talk about the uh, star players of, of Adam Ramsey and Cameron Archer. The big question for that is, and you've you've all read it on social media, and I'm going to say it here, would you let Akpom go for Archer? Oof. No. Yes, no, I, wouldn't. I would. You see, because... I, I, I'm worried he's a one-sit, one it wouldn't See, that for me, if you're getting... If we're talking 10, 15 million quid for Akpom, that's a good, you know, yeah, but Villa, Villa won't down take, payment. Villa won't take less than 20. I know, and, but and they're not going to want £5 million pound paid in instalments. They're going to want it up front. Well, look, mate, I, I just, I'm, I'm, on, I'm with Gal. I'm, I've seen it too much in the Championship, one season wonders. And I just think, and, like, and, I, leave. and I don't want it to be a one season wonder. I want to I want to go look back on this and go, yeah, you were talking out, you, you're your end, lad. But, Talking bullocks. I, I'm talking bullocks with with the Teesside Rambler here. I hope I am talking bullocks, but I've seen it. We're not saying he is a, a one season wonder. We're saying we don't know if he is. What happens he is, and that's, that, that's the difference. We could have took the money. You've got a ten think, chance, haven't you? And you, brought you do, but at the same time, the, the proof is going to be in uh, the recruitment this this oh, preseason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we start the season with the squad we've got now, without the quality of Giles, Ramsey, and Archer, I would expect. Akpom to flop. It's gonna be. It, it would be a similar situation to having Alvaro Negredo at the club. It, he was so good, he actually looked crap because he was laying himself off for shots. Well, yeah, he was kicking. He, he was winning the ball and running onto it. Wasn't he? You know, and, and it it probably made him look w- like yeah. worse than the quality that he had. But if we start the season without these quality signings, I don't expect Akpom's gonna achieve thirty goals this season, twenty eight goals this season. If we're smart with recruitment, if we bring one of those three players back, whether it's a loan or whether it's a permanent, then I'd be saying he's in for another good season here. Because I'd, I'd be very surprised with the if, delivery. if we haven't got somebody lined up in the old Man U setup as well. Yeah. Because Carrick's still got the contacts in, and it's it's always muted about yeah, yeah, Man yeah. U manager one day. Well, look, I mean, there's talk of Aidan Coulson, sort of people looking at Aidan Coulson, but they will do because he's another one sort of set the world on fire this year. Local lad at the minute, you know, fantastic wants to play for his own town club, but at the end of the day then bright lights come come shining and people want to people want him to talk of him. Ramsey to bring Ramsey back, he's one of them people who got injured at the wrong time for us. Mm. And it, yeah. it, it at the end of the season we, we spoke about it right at the beginning of the show yeah. about it sort of going into a damn squib. I think him getting injured sort of killed us off a bit. He was a, he was a bright spark going forward, wasn't he? If we could get Archer and, and, and Ramsey back... and uh, Giles is a must for him. Giles had the most assist, didn't he? In yeah. the, in the I, think, I think Giles is... You know, look, I, I'm going to say it, and people out there will probably hate me for it, and uh, people will probably agree. Giles going forward is fantastic. Is Giles a defender? Well, if Giles could defend as good as he was going forward, he'd be at a Premier League club goal. He wouldn't be loaned out with championship. Yeah, but that's club. why he's got the most assists in it in the championship. Because for me, he's all he's 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 yeah. a proper wing back. You know, we, we've had that in the past. Yeah, Cyrus, Cyrus, yeah he's saying. a proper wing back. He, Cyrus Christie was the same. We yeah. signed him as a right back. He could get forward, but never defend. get back. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he was to, he was to blame. Let's be you're, honest. You're either a winger or a defender. Yeah, I think it's it's getting more and more difficult. Gone, isn't it? He's more been more moved forward because he can't defend. The game of today, to be one of these. Uh, wing backs an effective wing back doing two jobs because you come up against Man City they'll tear you apart as soon as you're out of position they'll tear you apart other teams are like that the, the quality in football now is way higher than what it used to be so these these positions where we are playing a winger at left back in the hope that we can attack and, and know that he's got the afterburners to get back you see it less and less you've got to rely on your centre backs and, yeah. and we've had an issue with that all season so we've had a, we've had a few yes. comments now uh, I've had a few comments Emma, Emma Massey uh, I hope they, I hope you're looking after the dazzle out there on holiday. Um, love it, lads. Watching all the way from Cape Verde up the borough. Hey, Emma, I know you're a man. We've gone international on our first show. Our first show, <laughs> but international. 
Cape Verde, which streaming all the way to Cape Verde. Why? Because we've got Big Gal from the Borough on, that's why. Uh, Jesse Yafano said hi. Does anyone know who he is? Oh, there's his shirt. Look there, number two. Um, uh, Luke Boyd. Now, I know Luke is from up in Redkirk. Luke saying, Akpom needs at least a two-year contract extension. So he, yes, if he does it again, we can still yeah, get money from him. Yeah, he, he, he's with Phil there. He's, he, he's, thinking, he, he's thinking sort of along the lines of the business thing, isn't he? Uh, Luke again saying Carrick hasn't had uh, contact talks with players I don't think yet Giles and Ramsey we need back Hammy has said well done lads up the butter loving it Andrew Hamilton Hammy are you up you're well me and Gal love you to bits and Luke's back on again Ross Bartley is rubbish mate now we haven't spoke about Ross Bartley yet because uh, we're just about to come on to rumours Luke has it, you haven't sent our notes have you to Luke if you read it Clean your glasses. Someone says Ross Bartley further up. Oh, do they? I, I'm not. I'm not that far up. I'm not that far up. It's not. It's not the specs because I use them for purely like dress. Yeah. However, aesthetics. It's it's me phone. I, I'm struggling to get the gas. Anyway, rumours, rumours, fellas. Carl Darlow. Now I'm look for my little bit of knowledge. I think that's more than a rumour. I'd agree with you. I think that's more than a rumour. I think Carl Darlow is absolutely busting to come and play for the Borough. Uh, his family are from, actually, between Middlesbrough and Newcastle, you know, so um, it's a great move for him. Do you think though, the likes of Sol Brin coming back from loan was, by the way, done fantastic uh, out on loan? Where, where does that Henry Pottle of... just got a two and a half year for, like, I keep mentioning his name, he's a local lad from Normanby. So, so you've got, is it Liam Roberts? You've got Liam Roberts, you've got, is it Zach Hemming? Zach Hemming was you've away got on... You've Solbrin, you've potentially got Carl Darlow, which is plus, is it Popple? Yeah, so... Five goal, are you going to have five goalkeepers? Are no, two of them going to be moved on? No, you're not. I don't think they're going to be moved on. I think there's, them out. I think keep, there's some keepers more... Keepers seem to mature a bit. Yeah, yeah. They seem to be a bit older good keepers, don't they? I, I, they don't hit the peak till the 25, 26. And let's be honest, you know, Carl Darlow's the experienced one out of them all there. I know Roberts has had some, some games in and around the Championship, but... You're probably looking at if if Cal Dallo was to sign, easy number one, with Roberts again as number two. We know the other fellow, look, Mr. Luke Daniels, has gone. Um, but then I probably I think Sol Brin is probably going to be the third choice goalkeeper there, with the likes of Zach. Is it Henning? Zach, Zach, Zach Hemin and Zach Hemin probably Popple. going to go back out on loan, and Henry Popple probably going to go out on loan. Um, so. I, I I agree with Gal. You know, generally goalkeepers mature with age, don't they? So look at Luke Steele and go for Brighton. Yeah, the I know. Yeah, he's on fire. I, I I just I just think he's literally been nowhere. I just think that that what I just think that one's got legs. Now we yeah. were the first ones to mention Adam Forshaw here, and I got slated on that butter chat. People, so, oh, we don't want him. We oh, don't do you know want him. He's point, crocked. At one point, like I was, I was actually going to delete the comment, and I just thought, you know what? No, let's leave it on. And I just want to sat reading the comments. You're getting hit. But let's look. Let's look at. Where Adam Forshaw's wife's from, Central Borough, all right. Would that be a good move back for him as a player? Yes. Would that be a little bit of experience for the dressing room? Yes.